Hello friends, this is me Zubair Ramand and welcome to my channel Learn and Live MD. So today I am going to discuss with you regarding the process of SOAP, how the process of SOAP works and how you receive the offers, how you see the unfilled position. So basically the process of SOAP begins uh, on the May day when uh, like the 17th of the, this year 2025 you will receive the email uh, for the result like you are lucky enough to get made or you are unmade. Like it will be around 10 a.m. Eastern time zone. Uh, after that, uh, the process of SOAP begins on the same day an hour later, like around that 11 a.m. Eastern time zone. So from this time, you will see uh, the unfilled programs and uh, the list of unfilled programs. I will show you later in my video how you can see the list of unfilled programs uh, through the NRMP and you will start preparing your applications. On the next day, like 18th, around 8 a.m., so by this time, you can submit your applications and if you submit at any time uh, before 8 a.m., the programs will not be able to see that which time you uh, submitted your application. If you are submitting after 8 a.m., they will notice the time and they will see the time when you applied to the program. So from this time, March 18 a.m., the programs will have access to reviewing the SOAP applications. So from this 18th and this date like 18th to 20, they have two days like 18th and 19th. So they have two days to interview the application. So uh, if they are sending the application, so it can be uh, like uh, through different ways. Like they can send you the interview invitation through the ERAs, they can send you through the email, or they can even call you. So always be updated and make um, your like uh, keep an eye on your email and your phone uh, so that you do not miss any chance. So during these day, two days, uh, the application will be interviewed, and after that, like on the 20th. Uh, uh, 20th March, the process of SOAP begins. So SOAP has four rounds. So the round first begins around 9 a.m. and it lasts for two hours, like 9 to 11. So during this time, you will, uh, like the uh, lucky applications, will receive uh, the invitations from the uh, programs. Like if you got interviews from four or five places and you got two invitations, uh, so you have two hours to accept or reject the uh, offer. And if you are not accepting or rejecting offer during, during these two hours, and uh, so your offer will automatically be rejected by the RMP, uh, NRMP system. And the next round begins around 12 to 2 p.m. Same process again, you will receive the offers. During this time from 9 to 11 or 12 to 2 p.m., you cannot apply into any other programs. But between these rounds, time periods between rounds, like from 11 to 12, you can apply between the uh, in the programs so second uh, like the same thing during the second round of the soap from 12 to 2 p.m you will receive the offers if you are accepting or are rejecting the offer so keep in mind the chances of the uh, accepting the offers decreases uh, as you go downwards like from so one you have the most offers and at the soap of uh, four you have less chances to receive an offer so uh, be careful in accepting or rejecting any offer and also the SOAP round 3, uh, like begins from 3 to 5 p.m. You will same receive uh, the offers and SOAP round 4 from 6 to 8. And this way the SOAP ends around the 9 p.m. And on the March 21st, around 12 p.m. You will receive the results like in which program you got made. So this is how the process of SOAP works. So let me now, let me give you example how you find the uh, so unfilled programs and how if you are receiving offers how they look like so, so this PDF is from the NRMP website I will upload this link in my description so that you can get access to this easily and learn how the process of work as you will receive the result uh, the eligibility for the soap is like if you are totally unmade or you are partially made so you will receive emails like three if you are unmade or if you are uh, made to the one year position like the prelim or transitional year or if you made an advanced position but not the first year position. So uh, if you receive that email, uh, you will get uh, to see, you will come to see an option of SOAP uh, and the NRMB. So as you will click on this, you will see the option unfilled uh, programs and offers. As you will click on unfilled programs, you will get the list of the different specialties with unfilled programs uh, in them and unfilled positions. So as you uh, you will click on any other, for example, you will click on intermediate you will see the whole list of the programs which have unfilled positions. And also 
uh, let me tell you like you can apply only to 45 programs collectively either you are applying in a single program or you are applying uh, like in multiple uh, uh, specialties like in intermedicine neurology you are applying collectively so total will be the number of programs positions uh, you can apply will be the 45 so uh, this is uh, if you are partially made you will uh, come to see the only uh, uh, the programs which are advanced programs if you are totally unmade you will see the all uh, the whole the whole list like the prelims and the advanced programs if you are uh, partially made you will only uh, uh, able to see the advanced programs and also if you are partially made applicants into advanced programs so you will see uh, uh, like the prelim positions to the list so there will be written like be in front of these and you can apply to any of these uh, programs and also if the process of match ends and still some programs get unmatched and they have the unfilled position you can see this uh, the soap option near to soap option there will be the unfilled list so as you will click on this you will see the different like uh, the list of all sub subspecialties and the unfilled programs and the number of positions so you can come to know which programs are still unfilled after the soap and the next thing is uh, for example uh, you applied in the soap and now you have the offers you got interviews now you have offers so you will see if you will go on the soap i told you already you have two options unfilled programs and the offers if you will click on the offers you will uh, see this like you have how many offers accepted pending or rejected offers so if uh, uh, you are unlucky to get any offer on the first round you will see all offers have been generated by the current round you do not have any offers at this time so you will you will see in the screen like something like this and if you are getting any offer like for example you got two offers so this will show like this on your uh, nrmp so for example this is the first offer the second and if you want to click or view any offer you will click on the view so you will get the two options reject off offer or accept offer if you will click on the asset offer they will ask you for the password and you have to click on the accept and after this uh, like you will see uh, for example you have this accepted offer if you are met in the advanced program at this time uh, you will not be uh, more eligible to get the offers in the next rounds but if you are getting for example you were totally unmatched in the full mail uh, <clears throat> and now you made in a prelim position still you can uh, go into the further rounds further to find a secure position for the advanced programs advanced positions i mean so if you are getting the match in in the soap in the advanced position you will no more be eligible for the further soap process So that's how if you are not accepting any offer within those two hours of the SOAP uh, round, the offers will automatically be rejected. So that's how the SOAP process will work. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question or concerns, you can comment below. Thank you so much.